Today I'd like to speak about genetic entropy. And genetic entropy is very disturbingly real. Now there are two basic worldviews out there. The first worldview says we are naturally going up and that the natural world left to itself will somehow self-organize and get better and better over time. And the other view is that we are naturally getting worse. We're going downhill and that apart from God, everything is coming undone. When I was a young believer, a new believer, uh, I remember reading chapters 5 and 11 of Genesis, and I was sure that uh, the author of Genesis must have been just making up those numbers about how long people lived. And I thought, these are just random numbers. Somebody just picked crazy numbers out of a hat. Interesting thing is, as we look at these uh, numbers, what we find out is there is scientific data in Scripture. And so if we simply go to scripture and plot the lifespan of the patriarchs after the flood um, as over a period of time, what we see is this distribution of age spans. And we see the first diamond in the upper left is Shem, and then all the descendants of Shem. And what we see is what biologists instantly recognize as a biological decay curve. This is not random or crazy, made-up numbers. These numbers are highly systematic, and they're decaying in a mathematically predictable manner. Over the 10 years that I've been looking at the genetic entropy problem, part of my mind keeps saying, this couldn't be real. And, and it was, for me, it was kind of like a theoretical exercise. But now I realize this is very real and very serious. This is not just a theoretical exercise. This is a profound truth that should affect everybody's view of how we should live our life.